All right, y'all, this is a video a lot of you have asked for and I've held off giving it to you because I want it to be ready. But I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. It's showing you all the bikes in my personal collection. And frankly, I'm gonna show you a few other bikes that are just in my garage, some of my girlfriends and friends and things like that. All the bikes inside my shop coming at you in this video. Now I have to be honest, kind of another reason I didn't want to do this video is because my shop's an absolute disaster. We've got a couple construction projects going on and we've been using my future motorcycle shop as a construction shop and I don't have my driveway done yet. So it's muddy, I'm tracking mud and all kinds of stuff into the shop every day. It's just filthy, but this is real life, this is reality and this is what I share with y'all. All right, y'all. Another reason I didn't want to do this video is because I didn't want to seem boastful. So I'm not boasting. This is just uh, how I make my living. It's traveling, it's motorcycles. So uh, like any good tradesman, you've got a couple tools in your tool belt to get the job done. So here we are inside my shop. First bike in front of me is going to be my little kicker 5150. This is just a little mini bike. It's not a big bike at all. It's just a lot of fun is what it is. It's great for just banging around the campground and just having a good time on a, like a weekend on property. They're a whole lot of fun. It's a little hardtail kicker 5150. Its major rival in my shop would be of course my Honda Trail 70. This little guy is a whole lot of fun as well. Between these two motorcycles I cover a lot of ground inside this camp. So you're gonna see a lot of different motorcycles in today's video, but one thing they all have in common is you got to keep them running. You can't ride them all at once. I have been working with Tecron. Today's video is gonna be sponsored by Tecron. This is what I put in my motorcycles when I'm not riding them to make sure that they're ready to ride when I get on them. Tecron small engine fuel system treatment. Its counterpart is the Tecron complete fuel system cleaner. This is what I run in the motorcycles as I'm riding them. It helps keep the inside of the engine clean and uh, keeps me banging down more miles. All right, moving up the list, I think I'll start with my Indian Challenger. It's a 2020 Indian Challenger. I absolutely love this bike. It is probably the softest, most comfortable ride I have in the entire shop. Plenty of power too. Really, they did a great job on this Challenger. I know a lot of people you know, compared it to the Road Glide, which I have next to it, and we'll see next. I think they're completely different rides. I set both of them up with the T-bars. You'll see that they both run T-bars. I like the posture the T-bars give me. Uh, it keeps me upright, keeps me in good position for my back, my shoulder, and my neck, which, you know, I fight with sometimes. It sucks getting old. Moving on, I have my 2017 Road Glide Ultra. That's right, I just deleted the Tour Pack. Although I can take it on and off, I've got the Legend Revo Arc Remote Reservoir Suspension and that allows me to take that Tour Pack on and off and still have the benefits of the Remote Reservoirs. Again, I've got the T-Bar set up on it. This girl is special to me because this is the bike, with the exception that somebody took a knife and stole my ASR emblem off my seat. That was BS. Whoever did that, shame on you. You suck. Anyhow, the <laughs> bike has been great. It's special to me, really because I took this bike and rode it cross country multiple times, visiting Harley Davidson dealerships and giving away free motorcycles to veterans. It was really kind of a highlight of my motorcycle career. Next to it, this one is not mine, but I did indeed build it along with my friend Rusty from D&D Exhaust. This is my girlfriend's Road King, but it's got an FXRT fairing on it and it is beautiful. I custom made this seat for her when I was in California on a long video shoot. I was out there for like five weeks and I surprised her when I came home with this new seat that I had designed. It is also running the D&D exhaust. Here, let me turn it on for you. The full Ciro LED, the bag blades, the LED inserts on the back. It's really just a rad bike. It looks super clean going down the road. She absolutely loves it. I enjoy it as well. It's a fun, cool looking motorcycle. Moving on down the line. These little guys have been a ton of fun for me. I don't know exactly what size they are. They're little Coleman 
mini bikes. These are fun to run around the campground. I started out with 10 of them and I'm down to four. I tend to give these things away a lot. I do uh, a Stubborn American Rally. It's our biggest rally of the year at the Cave River Campground. The Stubborn American event happening right here at the Cave River Campground the first weekend of October every year. The wildest event I will attend all year and y'all should attend with me. Get more details, adamsandoval.com. We always have mini bike races. Uh, I provide the mini bikes and whoever wins takes their mini bike home with them. It's a ton of fun. If you get a chance, make it down this October. We even dress in costumes. There's also a mini bike given away to whoever is in the absolute best costume. Brings me to my next bike here. Well, this one's really special to me. It's really special because it was kind of a gift. It was given to me by some friends. I'll give you more of a story on it later, but this bike here, I plan on getting set up to make it available for veterans to be able to ride it should they come out to my campground. They don't have a bike to ride. This will be the bike that I give them to ride. It needs some work. It needs a few things done. I got to change out this jockey shift and make it a little bit easier to ride. You can see it's leaking a little oil down there, so we've got some seals we need to do. It's a project. It's a project I'm looking forward to working on, and hopefully I should have it done. Hopefully in the next year, I get it on that lift, and I get it fixed. You'll notice I got all these Harley Davidson t-shirts up here. I'm still contemplating how I'm gonna give these away, uh, raise some money for charity. I'm actually thinking about auctioning them off on my website, adamsandoval.com, and then using the money to build more veterans cabins. Tell me what y'all think. Next to it is my buddy. You can see he's rocking the ASR sticker and the American sticker. This is my buddy Scott's Heritage Softail. Heritage Softail is always special to me because it was kind of the first Harley Davidson I've ever ridden on. My uncle Wayne had one of these. His was a Springer, but it was my first ride. So I've always just had a special connection with the Heritage Softail. Moving on next is the BMW GS800. This thing's pretty trick. It's a great off-road motorcycle. If you all saw our Trans America Trail videos, I took this and my Honda Africa Twin, which I no longer have because I'm looking to do more single track. So I'm looking for something a little bit more of a dirt bike, a little bit lighter, something a little bit easier for me in the single track. Probably gonna sell this GS800 as well. If you're interested in it, let me know. I think it's probably worth somewhere around $9,000. As soon as I sell it, I'm gonna replace it with two dual sports, one for me and one for Ashley. Something maybe in the 250 to 450 range. And next to it is my uh, how to pick up your motorcycle video demonstration. It is the uh, 2003 Fat Boy Special. This motorcycle, I got just kind of helping a friend out. He needed some money. So I loaned him some money. And I'm really just kind of holding it as collateral. Hopefully he'll come pick it up one day. If not, I'll do something cool with it. Either way, these are the bikes inside my shop. I hope you all enjoyed kind of checking them out. I do have one more bike I'm gonna share with you, but I gotta leave my shop because this bike is probably my favorite bike, and I leave it down in our clubhouse at the Cape River Campground so that people can check it out. It's my war horse. Let's, let's go take a look. Ah, uh, the war horse. This is my 1996 Electroglide Standard and is by far my favorite bike in my entire collection. I rode this girl to every Harley Davidson dealership in the Continental 48. This thing broke the Guinness Book World Record for the longest parade of Harley Davidsons. My number one donating dealership was Calumet Harley Davidson. What I did was use the tour to bring people together, bring people to Harley Davidson dealerships and raise money for our veterans. It was a huge success. Calumet did better than anybody else. I gotta give a lot of that credit to my, uh, my brother, uh, my brother Blaster, uh, rest in peace brother, I, I miss you every day. But it does still have my old pack on it, although it's pretty dusty from being in here, I'll have to dust it off. I never washed this bike. In fact, it got washed one time at a dealership and I was pretty upset that they did it because it was filled with road grime. I'm not sure the dust <laughs> carries the same nostalgic feel that the other stuff did, but this is where Scooter would sit. He's got a little windshield here. It's just off a of Sportster and it's just stuck down in there. It's not. Uh, not bolted on or anything. I did have one I bolted through for a while, but it worked good like that. My bedroll, my case to keep my electronics dry. It really was an absolute memorable time. It's what opened the door for me to be able to make these YouTube videos and make a career 
out of motorcycles, YouTube, social media. She's the girl that took me to prom, if you will. I'm thankful, I'm thankful for the position I'm in. You know, sometimes people tell me, you know, oh, you've got so many motorcycles, you could give them all to charity. Those are bikes that charity could have. And, and, and while you're correct, I guess any of us could give our possessions to charity, I feel good about the millions of dollars that I've raised and given to veterans. Every year I dig in my own pocket because of the success I've got thanks to all of you and this old war horse, I'm able to dig in my own pocket and donate to charity every year and it feels amazing. I am thankful for the life I have. I'm thankful for all these motorcycles. I could have never done it without all your support. I truly feel like I am living the American dream my veterans, our veterans fought for what they wanted us to be able to have, the opportunity to make whatever you want out of life. And you can do it. You can do it. Never in a million years when I left on this trip and sold all my stuff and lived off this bike for about five years. I did have a school bus there at the end that I used kind of as a house, but never did I think I'd live on the road for five years, depleting all of my savings, depleting my retirement, all in the name of traveling and raising money for veterans. Literally took the sale of my home, my furniture, my art, and put it in that old girl's gas tank. It was the best decision I ever made. It came back full circle. I feel blessed, I feel happy. I've got a campground where veterans can come and stay free seven days a week. Literally hundreds of veterans. We have veterans here right now today, staying, enjoying some peace and quiet, some nature, maybe a party if they're here on the weekend. Either way, I've got veterans here that are enjoying life and that how do I even say it? I can't be prouder of anything in my life than what me and that motorcycle and my little pal Scooter, let's not forget him, quick Scooter montage. Yes, what we have done together has been amazing and y'all have been part of it too, whether you know it or not, just clicking the videos, clicking that thumbs up, making a comment, all that stuff helps push us further down the road and the more success we find, the more ways we find to give back. It's my motto, y'all can do the same thing. Just put your mind to something, dream. And once you find that dream, you stay focused on it and you stay stubborn. We'll see y'all in tomorrow's video.